Hi, I'm Orion, and I'm going to be doing a readathon. Um, I've had breakfast. I've had some water, and I've got my core bar loaded and ready. To start this. It's currently on. She gets a girl. I can't actually remember why. Um. Because I'm, I'm actually reading it for a book club, but I'm actually several chapters ahead, which is funny. Um, basically, I'm going to be reading as much as I can, and I'm going to see how many books I can finish in a day. If I can finish more than one book in a day. Um, I will be starting out with um, just reading a couple of chapters of She Gets the Girl. And then I'm going to move on to completing Noise, because I've only got like, I must have only like 60 pages left on my Kobo. Yes, I'm using my Kobo for all of this. I'm not going to try not to use my phone, unless it's for Goodreads and Storygraph. Because otherwise, I will get sidetracked. It is currently... 136. Let's begin. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. Yeah. Wow, the, the focus is really isn't wanting to be focusing. Okay, so I read my chapter of She Gets the Girl. Yeah. I just realised I am like several days fast um, in the book club, which is fun. Uh, we love that. Um, so now I'm going to finish off Noise. Um, the funny thing is, when I go into Noise, it says it's 62% red. Now. The page that this ends is 590, or at least most of, like, the main content. So, I literally have 60 pages. I'm basically mostly done with it. This could take probably about an hour to finish, so, yeah. On to that, it is now currently 147. Hi, so I'm going to use this footage for more than one video, um, kill two birds with one stone, but I have just finished Noise, and as you can tell, I give it a one star. It was so long and boring that I just don't think that I even took much in from it. Um, yeah, I, I just felt like it wasn't worth reading, but it does mean that in terms of the list, um, I definitely need to uh, edit and have a look into every book that I put on there and see, you know, is this worth actually reading? Because that was probably the least exciting book I've ever read. And now for the readathon. I am going to move on to A Terrible Kindness by Come on by Joe Browning Raw. Um yeah. By Joe Browning Raw. Um yeah. Says it's gonna take seven hours, uh, so <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Um, also, I did read like one chapter of it, but I, I, it took like five minutes. It's not gonna take much away from this book. But yeah, let's let's do this, cops. All right, so I'm still reading Terrible Kindness. Got about an hour left of it. So I'm going to basically hopefully finish this 
go to sleep, wake up at nine o'clock, and then read another book or two, probably one, and then stop at one p.m. since I started at one p.m. Because, yeah, I'm gonna have some rest. <coughs> so, I'll have another four hours to complete another book. So, yeah. Coming up to very, very close times. I'll say that. Okay, so, boom. I finished A Terrible Kindness. Um, it, it's not for me. <laughs> um, I don't know. But I, there were bits I enjoyed, but it, it just wasn't for me, in my opinion. And, you know, not everything's going to be for you, so deal with it. I do give it three stars though, because, yeah, there isn't much I can really say. I'm going to go to bed, I'll wake up, reading a new book. So, yeah. Wait, hi, good morning. It is five minutes past nine and I've just woke up, so let's continue the readathon. I'm going to be reading Running Wild by Kristen Strassel, as you can probably tell, just woken up. So, a little bit knackered, but I'm going to basically read this one to end the whole thing. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I have pretty much just finished Running Wild by Kristen Strassel, and oh my god. <laughs> It was the kind of trashy kind of thing that it's like, yeah, it's, in the grand scheme of things, yeah, sure, it, like, on a technical level, it might totally suck, but, like, it, it, it was camp. <laughs> it was the kind of trashy thing that was like, yeah, fine, I'll, I'll take that, and I'll, en I'll enjoy it, and I ate it up. Um, I'm giving it a four stars. <laughs> I, it's, it was such a wild concept. So basically, you have this woman, uh, I already can't remember her name, uh, but she, her mum signs her up to go on this, like, reality dating show, but the twist is, they're dating werewolves, pretty much. <laughs> and... And so, um, this girl gets her werewolf mate, and, uh, but this werewolf mate, he has pack issues. Um, he basically, his pack wanted him to kill a friend, but he wouldn't, so he was basically ousted and basically was threatened, if you come back to Alaska, you will die. And so, yeah, he moves away, comes back to Alaska because he got an offer to join an American football team. And so he begrudgingly comes back. And then he meets the main character, the other main character. I can't for the life of me remember her name. Which is a disaster. Hold on. Okay, Naomi. Naomi is her name. Naomi and Sebastian. What a what a couple. What a couple of furries. <laughs> uh but yeah, I, I technically it you know it, it it's probably terrible but it it, it was camp <laughs> it was fun and I just kind of switched off which, yeah, there's not much I can really say. I'm debating on whether I try and cram in another book. I could.
but I just don't feel like doing that. I think I'm going to quit whilst I've read two full books and finished off one that I was already reading. And that's going to be it for my readathon. I've been Orion, signing out. Fuck. I, I accidentally pressed record again. Damn it. Ooh.